We're talking about the retrospective five and seven. Now we got it in pine stone here and also in black. Now the pine stone material, it's a cotton canvas, 100%. So it's just a really nice, soft feel. It wears in, breaks in really nice. Um, it's also treated with a water resistant coating. Um, so that, that rain or water will just bead right off of it. As well, the underside of the fabric is, is, has a PU underside, so it, that water won't actually bleed to the interior. So that's both on the black and the cotton canvas. Right, we also provide rain covers for these, which if it really you know, starts to rain, we do recommend that. Yeah, and we do have a separate video on YouTube in order mm -hmm. to, uh, showing how to attach it as well. If you're right, interested. so the black version is actually 100% polyester. It's a brushed polyester, so it's still very soft and it has a great feeling to it. Um, it is a little bit more water resistant because it's 100% polyester, but we also provide this with the rain cover as well. Yeah, a little bit lighter on this. Mm -hmm. um, more of the you know wedding shooters, event photographers um, tend to go for the black, something where you need to really blend in and not be not be right. seen. But um, pine stone is definitely a favorite among among our customers. So let's talk about the seven first. Yeah. Uh, one of the great features about this is the rear pocket. We'll hold an iPad. Full size tablet. Right, and there's so many, you know, photographers now that are carrying these to show their portfolio to people. This will also take an eleven inch MacBook Air mm -hmm. as well. That's, so that's a that's fantastic. Nice bonus. All right, so then if we go on the inside, what I have is a regular size DSLR body with a 2470 attached. 5D Mark II. Mark I III. should note that you can put a 70 to 200 in vertically into this bag, but not attached. And I've also got a wide on the inside with the hood. And I've got another small prime on the side. So you can get a fair amount of gear into this yeah, bag. Yeah, you can. So jumping into the five, um, in the front pocket, now not in the rear, we have um, an eight inch tablet, just an iPad mini. And then this will hold, um, again, just a standard size DSLR uh, and, and really just two lenses. This I have a, a prime attached uh, and I also have a 24 to 70 in here. Um, now. In the black one, I have loaded more of a, a Sony mirrorless kit. So this is the 70 to 200 f/4, and then attached to the Sony A7 um, A7S, I have the 24 to 70 f/4 as well. Uh, and I squeezed in a little prime, a little 35 uh, f/2.8. So you know this size is great for when you want to go out and you just don't need a lot of equipment. You're just going out with your one body and your favorite lens and maybe you just need one other lens, something like that, but you just want something that's small and not very cumbersome and you just don't need a lot sometimes. And so this is a great addition that some people have to their camera bag collection. Yeah, this, it's actually my favorite. I, I shoot a Fuji system and I can get, I can get five to six lenses in here. Um, just because they're small primes, you can stack the lenses. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little rougher on my gear than some other people, but um, it's a really nice flexible case. So you get a lot of room in here. So in the front pocket, um, I like to leave this open so this really opens nice and wide when I'm working out of it. Um, I can close this up if I want to keep that front pocket a little bit more secure because there is uh, an organizer, business cards, pens. I keep you know my batteries and CF cards in there. Mm -hmm. Um, There's also a back security zippered pocket right here, which it's a shallow pocket. It doesn't go all the way down, which is great for things like tickets or even if you need to put your wallet or something in there, it's just zippered and it's secured. Right. So in the front pocket, as you saw, uh, we have the iPad mini. There's also that seam sealed rain cover that Doug was talking about. And it's a nice gusseted front pocket, so you can really stuff a lot of things in here. I'll put a full size flash in here actually with uh, the, the ETTL cable as well, um, just to really expand the capacity. Right. Of it. It's expandable, but it also goes flat again. Exactly. Which is important if you don't want the bag to stick out, it just goes completely flat. Yeah. So on the flap here, we have our sound silencers. Now, these are not engaged, so you get the full ripping effect, the full security. Um, but what you can do is silence them, as Doug has here. So it's just a silent flap. So when you're working out of it, if you're at a wedding, if you're in a courtroom, um, that you really don't get that ripping sound, right? Mm -hmm. So make yourself a lot more discreet. Another cool thing you can do is just do it like maybe halfway so you don't get as much ripping effect, but at least it's going to stay, that flap is going to stay closed, right? Sometimes you don't need that full, that full effect. Right, so generally when people are actively using the bag, then they have it disengaged because you want the flap to come up really easily. It's really when you're more in travel mode, you're going back and forth from your car, that's when you want the you know hook and loop fully engaged because you want the security over the top of the bag. Yeah, it's really nice to work out of the bag, but make sure that that sound silencer is not 
um, is not engaged. Well, it is engaged, so uh, make sure that, that flap is, is silent so it's not catching against your clothes. Right. There's also a business card holder on the inside for identification, which is great. Also, we've got two side pockets on either side for small items. We have a handle. Now, the, the handle is actually removable, which is cool because a lot of people only use the shoulder strap. So it's your choice whether or not you want to have it attached or not. Yeah, it's nice carrying it to the car, but for some people it just adds weight. So yep. um, Now, moving to our shoulder strap, this is um, an adjustable shoulder strap. So you have two points of adjustment here. The strap does slide pretty easily along there, but it's also got this silicon um, padding for, for non-slip. So that strap isn't going to go anywhere as it's on your shoulder. So the strap is just really comfortable. We've gotten a lot of uh, compliments from our customers as just far as all they carry. It's just a really nice strap. Right. We do have our logo on the bag, but it's actually on the back. And the reason for that is, you know, the name of the bag is retrospective, looking back. It's a very old-fashioned kind of bag, very kind of normal. And so, yeah, we put our logo on the back of the bag so that people wouldn't recognize it instantly as a camera bag. It is a very nondescript. People don't think that you have, you know, thousands of dollars worth of gear in here. Right. So. And also because, you know, they're made out of very soft material, they mold closer around your body, which again looks, looks less like a, let's say, a foam padded box. Yeah. So these are the retrospective. Retrospective 5 and the 7 yep. in Pinestone and Black from Think Tank Photo. Thanks for watching.